Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're in the greenhouse today. It's, uh, it's in the upper 90s, it's hot. Um, we've stripped the vines off of our trellis, our green bean vines off the trellis. And this video today is to show you the capabilities of the Grillo G110 walking tractor with a 30 inch Berta flail mower. Um, these vines are thick and I mowed the lower half of the green beans yesterday evening and I will admit uh, right when I first uh, squeezed the clutch handle to engage the PTO it did bog it down but once it got up to speed and rolling everything was fine. Um, hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, we're going to be mowing some of these other cover crops as well. Stay tuned. Take a look at the what's left after uh, two passes on all those vines. It's pretty chopped up. I mean, a tiller's not going to have any trouble with this, guys. And if I take you down here and show you uh, what we mowed last night or yesterday evening, late yesterday evening, it's already drying up, guys. And the tiller's not going to have any problem incorporating this back into the bed. Essentially, guys, this is the same as growing a cover crop. I mean, we harvested bushel after bushel of green beans in here and get to mow this crop and put it right back in the bed. It's going to be great uh, for this bed, put this organic matter back in this bed. We're going to mow this uh, sun hemp as well. Stay tuned for that. Got the sun hemp mode and as you can tell there's not as much dry matter left in the bed after mowing the green beans there's just so much more vine there but um, still we're, we're putting it back down in the bed and what I'll probably do is run the tiller through this one pass and probably put another crop of buckwheat on here um, because we've got at least we probably got at least 30 days before we're planting uh, uh, many greens in here, salad greens. Um, so we'll run a buckwheat cover crop through here. This bed right here will get buckwheat. Now this bed was our tomatoes, if you recall from previous videos. Tomatoes were thick in here. Now we didn't flail mow them, would have liked to, but they were just too thick. Um, was just afraid to, to try because we couldn't get all of the the uh, ties off of the stakes and so I didn't want those ties getting in the flail mower so we just we just pulled all of those tomatoes out and they're in a pile back here in the back um, so we'll run buckwheat where that sun hemp was we'll run buckwheat right here where the green beans were we'll run buckwheat over there in that bed as well uh, get back to the time lapse guys we're gonna mow these cover crops that are in these outside beds.
folks. We got all of the beds outside mode here. And we will put all these back in buckwheat as well. I will say one thing, as tall as this cover crop is, and it was a little wet, um, and I think the on the flail mower, I believe that roller comes uh, set probably in the lowest setting. Mine would help if I would raise it up a little bit. You see there's so much green manure here that it's piling up. I can rake that back out evenly in the bed and it'll be fine. But you can see it's pulling some from down here and it's dragging it to the end of the bed. We'll fix that with a rake, get it evenly spread back out. Guys, we really appreciate you watching this video. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, we appreciate you doing that. Click that like button, hit that subscribe button, Stay tuned for more videos. Appreciate you guys.